Hello, five-year-olds. It's Philippe, your new dream science teacher, which I'm really excited about, which is very happy to be teaching you science for the first time. I really love science and I love using my hands to make different things and learning while I am doing it. That's why I love this dream science so much because I get to learn new subjects, new things, exciting things while I'm having fun. So this is one of my favorite subjects, dream science, which I'm really, really happy to be teaching you for the first time. So let's have some fun and I'm very excited. We have this new package for this new month of September, right? So this is the first step, okay? Step one. And make sure for today's craft work, we're going to be doing the color top. And the little package should be looking like this, okay? Once you see that, grab this one. This is the one we need, okay? Second step, open your package, but don't touch, just put it aside, okay? Just make sure you got this one. So today, we're going to be doing the color top. And this is the main material we need. Something else we need as well is crayons. Because we're going to be coloring something, right? So we also have a sticker sheet, which we will be using in the future when we get our books. And let's have some fun and learn, okay? So the purpose of this experiment today is mainly that we need to observe how colors blend in together, right? And we also need to observe spinning the emotion of spinning, something spinning, right? Which is why we're using a top. And that should be really cool because we get to spin and see colors changing and what we call blending, right? They should be very, very exciting. And we also need to try to think about other things around us that spin. Mm, what does it what can you see that spin? For example, the bicycle wheels, that spins, right? That's right. What about the car wheels? They also spins very fast. You can't really see the color very well. You only see something shiny, right? That's the emotion of spinning. And also, Let's get into the names of the objects we're going to be using today. First one is what we call a top. So this is a top. Very easy to spin. This one is a wooden top. Really, really cool. That's a very old toy used many, many years ago by maybe your parents or maybe even your grandparents. This toy will never ever age. That's the beauty of it. It can always be used for many generations. And here we have something which is really cool. You're already familiar with this. Once we complete our experiment, you get to collect these little cool cards, right? So this is spin. Can you repeat after teacher? Spin, spin, right? Spin, that's the emotion of spinning. Spin, spin. And here we have top, top, top. Repeat after me, top. Now who can tell me what color is this top, right? That's some lime green, yellow, and the darker green with a yellow top to spin. And usually on the top, this is metal. Our ones is different. Our ones is wood, but usually this is metal. 
So when you complete the experiment, you can either put this in your backpack or you can just have it inside your pencil case or make sure you collect it because that's one of the rewards. And then when you look at it, remember, mm, that's right, top, spin, you've learned something new, okay? Now, teacher's gonna talk about when an object is in motion. He object has a property operating to continue the motion. This property is called inertia. And a top spin is due to this property. So remember the name inertia, right? Inertia. And also, when the top spins, the colors on the paper is cut out, appears like circles. So very, very interesting, right? So this is the cutouts that we are talking about, right? We have two, two different cutouts. One is black and white, and the other one has colors. So let's talk about some of these colors, right? We have a sky blue, a darker blue, a yellow, and a red. So first things first, let's take these out gently so you don't rip. Very, very carefully. There you go. Completely out. And this one too, right? Even though it's black and white, the reason why a teacher asks you to get some crayons is because we're going to be coloring these. And if you have some trouble, if you're having a hard time, ask help for an adult, maybe mom or dad or your grandparents, ask somebody to help you out. But this should be very easy. It's not really a hard experience. Now we have our wooden top, <clears throat> right? So when we spin these color wheels here, it's going to look like circles, usually one single color. Very hard to distinguish. That's what we call color blending, right? It's pretty incredible, very fascinating. And this is because our eyes see several fast moving objects as one, right? So when all these things Spin very fast, or eyes can only see as one. Very interesting. How can so many different colors just look like one, right? Very, very fascinating. Colors look combined to our eyes. So our eyes see the colors combined. Almost looks like this. See, it's a combination of colors blending in not something vivid like this. This one spins, it looks like that. So that's what we're going to be doing today's experiment. So, we also have a sheet of stickers here. It really, really look interesting, right? For example, we have a tire sticker, and we know that a tire has the wheel, Right? Look at the wheel inside a tire. And usually the wheel when it spins in a car, we also see one object. We don't see one, two, three, four, five. We usually see one once it's moving fast. It's the same with a fan. Can we say fan? One more time. Fan. Good job. Tire. Fan. Now, these days are being really, really hot, right? Most of you have a fan at home to make sure you cool down. We can't put our hands inside the fan. Oh no, don't do that. Very, very dangerous. So make sure your fan has a grill on top so you can't put your fingers or anything like that. The fan is just to cool us down, especially during summer, right? It gets very, very hot. So one more time, fan, tire and here we have the colors red blue and my favorite color yellow one more time yellow red blue and what is this it looks like an eye right eye eye is the organ that we see all these 
experiment in coming together. We use our eyes to observe, and that's how the eyes capture all these moving objects as if it was only one. Very, very interesting. I can't wait to start. So the science craft. Teacher is going to move my camera so you can watch.